Excitement levels have certainly been ratcheted up here at Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Burnley versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Number three, Charlie Taylor. Number seven, Johan Berg Goodmanson. Number 18, Ashley Westwood. Number eight, Josh Brownhill. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Ben Mee in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. The initial 11 for Wolves. Ruben Neves plays alongside Joao Moutinho in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you for attending today's game at Turf Moor today. Enjoy the match. And the match is underway. Raul Jimenez. But they took care of the situation defensively. Beautiful pass. I must say this looks promising. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Ruben Neves. Good width from Wolves. Can he finish? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Westwood Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross And showing fine vision Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? No foul play, says the referee. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. And you need your defender to take charge. Charlie Taylor. McNeil. 
It's a good-looking ball in behind, and a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Delivering it. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. difficult challenge to perform but he succeeded well, showing good defensive judgment good movement good Munson Veghorst Westwood Lowton Veghorst, Goodmundsson, defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Now sending it in and clearing it away. Tarkovsky. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Roman Saiz Connor Cody now and scope for them to produce something exciting but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Trincao Jimenez well, he could really get at the opposition. Neves. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Westwood. This could square the game. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Good width from Wolves. And options in the centre. 
Still not clear. And a fine tackle. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Westwood, Veghorst, and that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Let's see about the delivery. Well, nothing comes of it. Was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. So a half an hour remaining. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Green cow. Well, the keeper does his job. Well, nice idea, but he didn't quite get enough on it, did he? Excellent challenge. So a throw in here. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Into the advanced position. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And time for the change now. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Josh Brownhill, to be replaced by number four, Jack Cork. And over comes the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Might be able to get in behind the defence. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, high marks for that pass. He got in the way of that cross. A very good tackle. No space for them here. Space and time for the cross. Goodmanson. Westwood. Low turn. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. McNeil. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. How do they have it in them to level this? Later to the box. And they deal with the threat this time.
Nuri. It's with Moutinho. This might be ideal for the counter. Moutinho. Well, it was a brilliant break, but no goal as a result. Well, forget the finish and just admire the way they counter-attack there. They did it with such pace and quality. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. Johan Berg, Goodmanson. Jack Cork now. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90 minutes. 